So the ones we're looking for, the tinier than any duck you've probably ever seen. A little bit tinier wood duck. And they're probably a little sporadic. And they got blue wings. I thought I saw a group of Come on, buddy. Hunt, dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird, please. Yeah, bring him here, buddy. Come on. There you go. Come on, buddy. Right here. Right here. Bring him here. Give. Good boy. Load. Load, buddy. Come on. Load. Good boy. Yeah. Dead bird, huh? Huh, chief? Bird. Dead bird, chief. Dead bird. Huh? Huh? Bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Yeah, bring him here, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, good boy. Yeah! Yeah, Chief! Yeah! Oh, yeah, good boy! Yeah, that a boy! That a boy, Chief, you found him! Oh, what an excellent retriever, buddy! Come on, boy! You did it! Woohoo! Alright, guys, so we continue to look for the third bird, but at this point, my GoPro dies. And um, we don't end up finding the third bird, but I do end up getting stuck like I've never been stuck before. It was more or less quicksand, so let's pick up with me back in the blind. Alright guys, well, whew, we shot three till. Um, only could recover two of them. Got stuck in the mud. It's all over me. Pretty much quicksand is on my face. Wow. So it's everywhere. The not wearing waders, so it couldn't help me. New new duck hunter, don't judge him. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But he, he ended up finding uh, one of the teal, so good job, Chief. But I'm exhausted. Um, I, I wasn't sure if I was getting out of that or how I was going to get out of it. Um, so, yeah. It's crazy. Looked just like grass. Stepped right into it, and uh, next thing I knew, I was... Uh, up to the top of my waders in muck and I couldn't pull my feet out and just yeah so I've always heard if you get stuck in quicksand like that you guys just got to spread out you know almost like swim on top of it and uh, I ended up digging myself out a little bit that's why my arms are just covered in junk you know it's down my waders I'm just all freaking muddy everywhere and uh, yeah I was able to slide out of there you know I don't know how long I was stuck in there what do you think 10 minutes 15 minutes at least yeah. at least it felt like yeah felt like forever and uh, you know eventually I just muscled out of there and close call so we couldn't find the teal um, but you know we're on the board pumped about that so first blue wings for me and chief and Taylor Taylor got one too <laughs> so pretty pumped about it you know worth all the hard work this hunt's been um, yeah, for sure. So, let's keep them going. Cut. <laughs>
the following morning we got set up in our blind uh, geese decoys out there duck decoys and a couple mojos we set up in a blind that's a little bit of a pit blind that overlooks a pond that's in a cow pasture um, pretty sweet setup so now all we have to do is wait on the ducks Go get him, buddy. Go get him, Chief. All right, guys. Four birds down within minutes of shooting light. And uh, it's not going to slow down now. We got Come more on, birds Chief. coming in while Chief's still out there retrieving, retrieving the already down ducks. Go get him, buddy. My gun did it again. What the heck? Again, guys, hot and heavy action, and we're not even able to leave the blind because birds are still coming in, and Chief is still retrieving ducks. Got him. Woohoo! Yeah, he landed. And with eight birds down almost immediately, we're well on our way to three man limit. You see him chasing that one? <laughs> that a boy, Chief! That a boy! How's that? Pretty good. We got you some action. <laughs> good boy. Good, Chief. So, I have you. Hey, here's two. Two, 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 two. We have one on the left. Just one on the head. There's two on the left. The other one's a hand. So one is straight me. And then the two over there. Oh, so these two over here are eight. Oh, no. Okay. Just shoot that one up here in the middle. Yep. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here, Keith. Alright guys, a few things I want to address about this hunt. First off, this hunt has been awesome. And uh, we've had birds just decoying in and just action non-stop for the first 30 minutes of shooting time. That being said, the camera work has not been up to standard. Um, the camera keeps falling off of the gorilla pod and the focus keeps getting grabbed by the weeds. But just got to do with what you can with what you got. And at this point of the hunt, we have 11 birds down and we just need one more green head from John to finish out the three-man limit. I think they might have. You don't think so? Maybe. I see him come back so I could hear him right here. Attaboy! Here! <laughs> Go get him, buddy! Go get him, Chief! Where's he at? Get me! <laughs> There we go, good boy! Oh, there you go! Chief. Brilliant. Come on, Chief. You done your job. Yeah. Hey, Chief. Oh. Me? Yeah. I'm about to do video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. I'm here today with 
John and Tim. Just got done with the limit. Mallards. Can't complain about a good morning, a opening day. Sitting out here in the duck blind with the sun, sunrise coming up and ducks cupping in. John said he went 100% <laughs> today though. And we need to have a little discussion about that. I did. So I shot four times. Four times. That's a different box. And there's only two shells missing. <laughs> so either you're eating the shells, which I wouldn't put past you since you are from Tennessee. We eat all so. kinds of stuff down there. I but at least you hit that you hit the one when the pressure was on. That was a sweet shot. Thank you. Acrobatic too. <laughs> Stretching to the left. Yep. Behind the blind. Ducks landed in the goose set. It was awesome. What do you think, buddy? What do you think, Chief? Do you like the greenheads? I like greenheads too. Good boy, Chief. Good boy. Alright, well the duck hunting's done, but next is skis. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I've been catching a lot of flack lately for water swatting ducks, air quotes. And um, so I just wanted to clarify what my position is on shooting ducks off the water. So first things first, it's definitely more enjoyable to shoot ducks out of the air. But um, when a duck just slides into your decoys like that and you fool them into landing 10 yards away, I'm definitely not opposed to water swatting. And especially in situations like this where I'm working a new dog, he's only a year and a half old, still a relatively new retriever, and every chance I get, you know, I want to work him and reward him for um, doing his job. And another thing, my shooting hasn't been excellent this year, but I did hit that wood duck both times, and he still flew a short distance before he landed, and I finished him off. I want you. Come on, buddy. Come on. I want you. Come. All right, guys. Had that group of about six woodies come in right over the decoys and hit the first shot, but the bird never dropped. Hit the second shot on a different bird, and that bird dropped about 50 yards away in the tall grass and Chief was able to sniff him out after a little while and just super pumped that's my first Woody Drake and awesome job by Chief being able to find that bird um, tucked away in the grass um, definitely the real MVP um, on my first Woody Drake kit. Up, buddy. Load. Freaking stoked guys couple Woody's sitting on the sick of bags Chief's pretty pumped too. Whew. I don't know if y'all y'all can see that, but it's 806. Let's go! Yes! Let's go, Chief! Get it! Sit, buddy! Sit! Dude, that one's got a band on it. Baby! Yeah! 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 Bring him in here! Bring him in here! Bring that band. Grab him, dude.
where the cold front lies. You don't need me to tell you that. And that is going to swing through the state later on this season. When the weatherman's predicting a cold front early on in the season, you don't just sit around and wait for the ducks. You do whatever it takes to get on those birds. And that's just what we do. Tim and Hunter were able to put in some windshield time. And when I say they put us right on the X, they put us right on the X. We had hundreds of birds spiraling in. And right away, we knew that this hunt was going to be something special. Something we talk about for seasons to come. Here in northern Indiana, we're not known for our flyways. We're not known for our massive migration of birds. So when we get a chance at a hunt like this, we take full advantage of the opportunity placed before us. Buckle up, boys. And brace yourself for cold front thunder. killed tons of birds in that first volley. We all unloaded all our shells, reloaded, and even got some more shots. So far we had 11 of our hens down, and almost half of our drakes. We're all looking for birds and gathering them up as quick as we can, and birds are still just dumping in on us. We gotta find out how many, how many we got. Right, right, right in front of us. Take drakes, take drakes. All right, guys, 12 hens and nine drakes down. One thing to note about this hunt was that it was Chief's first hunt to hunt with another dog, and he was just as excited about hanging out with the other dog as he was retrieving birds, which was a little frustrating at times because, as you can see right here, full sprint, we're looking for a bird, sees the other dog, and he turns right around. Definitely tried my patience, but it was definitely a good learning experience for the two of us. Chief, come. And just as soon as we got everyone back in the blind, the action didn't let up at all. The geese started to fly in. Alright guys, well this hunt is just turning out awesome. And those geese didn't end up decoying in, but we chose the route of a more conservative approach and didn't go for the 30 yard shot as they passed over us in the hopes that doing so wouldn't educate the birds and that they might be back at a later time today or later on in the season. <laughs> oh. What do you think he was 12? No. <laughs> I was like 25. That's what does for you. Yep, this is my son right here. <laughs> I don't know what kind of thing you guys are going start on. Young. <laughs> oh, good job, son. <laughs> Alright guys, at this point we have a group of teal land in front of us and we're able to shoot four of them and also we had a cripple that swam across the lake that dove on us and we were unable to retrieve. 
So all we need now as far as ducks go are three drakes to complete the six man limit. And we're able to do that here shortly with three solo drake kills. Go get him, buddy. Go get him, Chief. Come here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. And that's a wrap on our six man yeah, limit of mallards. Pretty pumped about that. And the icing on the cake is that we start to have small groups of geese that start coming into our set. Dude, that one's got a band on it. Baby! Got a band. Yeah! 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 Bring them in here. Bring them in here. Bring that band. Come, dude. Stop. got out to the marsh and got her canoe tucked into a cattail and this being the first time out there I didn't really have a spot picked out beforehand and the birds were flying around everywhere before we were even ready to set up so let's get into the hunt. Two birds down minutes after shooting light. And just as Chief exits the canoe, another bird flies in right over the set. Go get him, Chief! That a boy! That a boy, Chief! Come on, Chief! Come on! Come on! That a boy! Come here, buddy! Come here! Atta boy, Chief. Chief. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Bring it in. There you go. And just like that, we have our one deck go. limit. One drake right and two minutes. So right. it really was a shame that uh, we didn't end up having anybody else with us um, as far as getting more wood ducks because I've never seen so many wood ducks in one spot and they're just flying around everywhere and decoying in and we already had our three. And Chief really wasn't a fan of that. Didn't really understand why we couldn't shoot more than three. Um, so at this point, we just got to wait for our mallards.
going guys back out here at the lake swamp me and chief shot our limit of woodies got some green heads over there but chief no no don't chew up the birds all right well sit chief we're trying to do an interview Jeez. all right stay all right me and my buddy here anyways super pumped guys just had some woodies come in shot our limit you know just 10 minutes after shooting light if that and uh pouring in here so let's get a, a view behind me what we got going on got the mojo got some decoys like five or six not a lot but about 20 30 woodies came in here this morning and you know my adrenaline's pumping but uh then i had a wood or i had a mallard swing through here and my gun got caught on the camel bag and I knocked my phone in the water and I ended up grabbing that instead of shooting the duck. Kind of sucks because it would have been awesome to get that green head in with this lemon. But yeah, can't complain about today. All right, guys, in the marsh. Let's go. All right, guys, made it out to the marsh and was able to push the canoe up into the weeds and find a spot that was solid enough for me to stand on. And just like clockwork, first light, and the birds are flying. All right, guys, two mallards in and two mallards down with two shots. That's how we like it. The second mallard actually flew into the trees and weeds. And uh, Chief had an eye on it, and he jumped in on a line straight for that bird deep into the trees and weeds. And Chief's out retrieving, we still have birds flying around. So I take a shot, maybe a little too far, but I hold off on the other ones. Got him, buddy? Green Chief's head, bringing buddy. back a green head, Come and on, it's gotta green be head. one of the best retrieves of his life. But before he can get back, we have three more ducks decoy in. I drew the first one over the decoys and pepper the second one as it flies away. But we'll it doesn't go down. down. Chief. Come here, buddy. That a boy. All right, guys. After that amazing retrieve, it got a little messy. He dropped the green head before he got back and went to, for the wood duck. Chief. And then he saw the other mallard that was crippled and ended up chasing that clear to the other side into the brush and trees. And so at this point, he's been gone for about five minutes and uh, I haven't seen or heard anything. So, you know, start calling him back and he ends up not having it, unfortunately. He picks up the wood duck on the way in, but we only have one bird in the boat after hitting three down. So we gotta start searching for the other ones. And we're able to find the green head with little effort just off to the side of us about 10 yards. And, uh, you know, nothing really makes your heart swell more than seeing your dog working ducks and just bringing right back to you. Unfortunately, though, after searching for quite a bit of time, we were unable to find the other mallard. So definitely unfortunate, but not a lot we could do. We definitely put in a good effort. Right here, we're doing it, man. We're doing it. Let's do this. I'm getting crazy now. <laughs> Cue the pump up music. guys well we're in the blinds we got the decoy set up cameras rolling we're ready to go all we need now is for the birds to come in they're coming in Oh. 
That was awesome. The last one was the one to die. One seven in. Two coming right in. Kill him. Take that shot because I was shooting off. You thought it was too far? Well, it was kind of far and I'm shooting over everybody's head, so I was like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Did I bust you? No, I, you're fine. So that's two more down, right? Where? Oh, man. There's a bunch behind him. Oh, those are seagulls. Take them. Out of war! Let's go get some ducks. Okay. Go get him, buddy. Get him, bud. <laughs> <laughs> we were the only two shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> we're out here. We're ducking hunts. Hunting ducks. We got, what, four down? Four down. Smoking and joking. I'm it's actually. Tough. I'm actually limited out now, so. Dude, right behind you. Why would you do that? Take the world! <laughs> Got some greenies. I think I shot both of these. Jordan with, but <laughs> whatever. See, they're still alive. Dude, a band. Hey, <laughs> Dude, these are pretty fat. <laughs> yeah, nice northern knives. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do the same thing, huh? Like, I can find a faster way. There's one on the other side of that one. ditch still, too. I don't think that one's dead yet. Oh, no, 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 no. They circled around in front. In front? Yeah, you see him right now? Oh. Right in front. Killer.
The finisher tool. Knock him dead, boys. I mean. Someone tell Lyle to turn around when he pees. I'm surprised he even gets out of the blind. Might be. <laughs> it's all right. I'll put a black bar over it. <laughs> it's the ball enough. You won't be able to see it anyway. A black bar. Black dot. Big bar. Yeah, boys. Three out of those four. That's sweet. Yeah, boys. Three out of those four. That's sweet. Did anybody see where they landed? <laughs> here, this one's, this one's, one's still here. Around. Coming around. Coming around. Alright guys, this hunt has probably been the most fun I've had all season, and it's come to an end, we shot 12 out of our 16, so can't complain there, but now we're going to pack on up and get on out of here, so enjoy this b-roll on the way. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Today it's Christmas Eve and we got a very special Christmas Day hunt planned out. My baby sister's home from college and she asked me if I'd take her hunting. So it just happened that um, worked out that we're going to go tomorrow morning uh, before all the family Christmas ac activities. The plan is she's going to meet me here first thing in the morning. We're going to canoe out to the spot. Hopefully we get out there and we get on some birds. Enough of the talk. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we're ready for the hunt. Let's go. All right, guys, so we ended up having a snowstorm that night and got about five inches of snow. And she may have slept through her alarm clock as well. She ended up getting to my house about 20, 30 minutes late. Um, so at this point, we got to rush to get out there and try to beat the birds. And um, it's going to be pretty close on whether we make it there before shooting light. Well, you can get it in the car. So we didn't end up making it there before shooting light. We got there about 10 minutes after, and wouldn't you know it, we had about 25 mallards on the water in front of us, 
and 25 more flying right where there. So I got out of the canoe, walked up there, and ended up shooting three ducks as they flew by. So let's pick up with the video from there. <laughs> like so like loud. Well, because it's so quiet out here. It's scary, and I was like, is that Jordan? I can't even tell. Yeah, well, I only brought three extra shells. And so I shot my first bird with the first shell, three. Put three in, shot two more. And there's birds still coming around. I didn't have any shells. So I was like, you know, bring the canoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We got out here first night, shot some ducks. Didn't have the cameras rolling. You show them the ducks? Christmas morning. <laughs> Whacking them and stacking them. Shot three, only found two. We're still gonna look for that third one again. Um, fell on this snowy stuff and I don't know, just couldn't find it, so. Got here a little late. But made it happen. Get it. I'm gonna look again. Hey, this one, this one. Here it comes. Here it comes. Side, buddy. Mark, Chief. Go get him, buddy. Go get him. Go get him, buddy. Chief, go get him. I'm bring him here, buddy. Come on, Chief. Bring him here. <laughs> Chief, come on. Chief, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That a boy! That a boy, Chief! Here, record us. Thank you. That's you. That's you. That a boy, buddy! Come on, buddy! That a boy! That a boy, Chief! That a boy! Come on, buddy! Yeah! yeah. Come on, right, Chief? No, that was so close. Perfect! Good boy! Come on! Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. That was a good shot. Bang! Merry Christmas, duck. There we go. Duck down, baby. Come on, Chief. Good boy. What a retrieve. Yeah. Good boy. Merry Christmas, duck hunters. Merry Christmas. Come on, come on. Hand killers. All right, guys. Well, we got three ducks down. Four ducks, really. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is really brushy and snowy, and you'd think it'd be easy and hard at the same time to find them. So, um, you know, we, we searched everywhere. I don't know if it was crippled and got away. Um, we had three down at, at the beginning, so it took us a while to get back here to the last one. And then we shot one more that flew over. So I'm guessing that cripple got away. Um, we definitely put our due diligence in and searching for it, but we weren't able to find it. So um, I guess we're going to try to sit here, get one more, and then get home for Christmas dinner. So stay tuned, guys. In here, buddy. Come on. Oh, you found it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought maybe that's what it was doing. Yes. Final update. Chief got it. Two hens, two mallet, or uh, wow. Two hens, two drakes. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! The following morning, when making out to the creek, negative 16, 6 degrees with a wind chill of negative 18. 
The creek is nearly frozen across, but that's pretty much what we expect at that temperature. So we set up with three decoys and exactly shooting light, we have birds flying in. Clean shooting to start the day off. Two birds in and two birds down. Team, go get him, buddy. Go get him, buddy. Come on. Load up. Go get him, team. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go get him, team. Go get him, team. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go get him, team. Alright, guys. So, one thing to note here is uh, Chief's a little sketchy on the ice. Um, just not too certain what to do on it. And I couldn't get him to jump out of the off the ice into the creek. So I had to go out and retrieve the duck myself. It's definitely something I want to work on and improve for next season. Alright guys, so Chief definitely retrieved the one on the ground like a champ, um, but here's a tip two in the ice, and uh, not surprising, but it still wasn't happening with him. Three more out the under. See them over them trees. I think they're Where going. They I think they're going away from us. They just went behind those big tree right here to the left. Okay. I don't see them. I might circle back around, but I don't know. Okay, we got four. Shoot this one day. Come on, buddy. Heal up. Sit. So you shot your last? That first one, that last one was hard to hit. It was so close. Well, you dropped it first shot. That was the first one. Yeah, and then the other one I shot three times and missed it. I shot at it twice. Okay. okay you see the close one? Mm -hmm. Let them work, let them work. Oh, my gun jam. Well, one's down. Chief, over. Chief, come on. Over this way. I don't know if you got it or not. You might have got it. I have no idea. 
It was crazy. It, it dropped on the first shot though, didn't it? And I'm going over there to find it. Good boy, bring him here, buddy. Good boy, right here, buddy. Come on, come on. That a boy. Good boy. Yes. Give, give. That a boy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, you get in here. Let's go. You found it. It's pretty good. Yep. Get in here, buddy. No, right here. Stay. What's going on, guys? Well, we're calling it a day. Got to get into work, so just had about an hour to hunt. Hour to hunt. If we had longer, we'd probably scratch out a limit, but I can't complain about it. Five ducks down. I think John shot five, so he's kind of illegal, but. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we split them three, two. Something like that. Maybe split a couple. It's freaking cold. It's like a wind chill, maybe negative 15, something like that. I'll have to check. But see that nice frosty beard? That's pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. Felt like an old man. <laughs> Jack Frost. Got white hair. <laughs> you got anything to add? It's too cold for Tennessee, fella. <laughs> it's too cold for Tennessee. But you came out here and did it. I'm impressed. Maybe I'll come with you tomorrow. <laughs> First thing in the morning, we hike out to the spot, set up, just throw a couple decoys out into the creek, and we wait in the calm before the storm. We have birds land into our set, and we have a few more birds land upstream from us and swim back towards us. And as soon as it's shooting light, we give them fire and fury. Go get him, buddy. Go get him, T. Picking up our first five, we have more birds coming in, and I'm able to knock another one down with a couple shots. I call Chief back, not knowing that he's already on a bird, hoping to prevent from flaring any birds. Before he returns, we already have birds right on top of us. Just as quickly as it begins, it ends. We have our two man limit. Good 
What's going on guys? Just get done. Two man limit. So can't complain about that. Where'd my dog go? He's okay. pooping. That's good. Alright. So anyways guys, here's all the mallards. Freaking pumped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hunter's a little out of um, interview practice. Shape. <laughs> a little out of shape. That's, that's me, man. Got the Christmas calories. All right, guys. Whew. Let's just keep this. Let's keep this gravy train rolling. Ducks every day. Let's go. Chief's doing snow angels right now, so. He's <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thanks again for watching another episode of Duck and Chronicles. If you're a fan of the outdoors, like me and Hunter and Chief, then hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button for more content like this and we'll be getting back at it soon enough. So stay tuned guys. Don't be scrubbing. Just some. Bye. Back in the holla, ducks on a collar. <laughs> <laughs>